currently 11 a.m. in the morning, sunny. It was cloudy this morning, but now it's beautiful. I'm headed to lunch with my friend CSG. We are going to 3rd Street South to Sea Salt. I haven't taken you there before, and I haven't been in a while, so I thought it'd be fun to take you with me. I will try to film what I can when I'm there. We'll see how that goes. I am wearing wide leg crop pants with a white button up shirt. I wear this shirt for business looks. I wear it for dressier looks. And in those cases I iron it. But last night I decided I wanted it to look a bit more casual. So I, for today, so I sprayed it with water, crunched it up in a ball, then hung it up to dry wrinkled to give it a more relaxed, casual feeling. Of course, I didn't have to do that. I could have worn it just iron, but I thought it'd be fun to do something a little different. I'm carrying a gold tote. A lot of gold totes are showing up online. Uh, yellow gold, rose gold. My lip color is not new, but I haven't worn it in a while, and I definitely haven't shown it on the blog or on YouTube in a while, and this is by Hemp Organics. I took off the lid so I could show you the color. It's rosé. It's a wonderful frosty gloss. Just not so much a gloss, more a lip color that's a light frost. It's sheer, just gives a hint of color, very moisturizing. A Hemp Organics lip colors are, how do they make them? Let's see, they have organic base to which they add color pigments. That's one of the reasons I like this brand of lip colors. All my makeup has natural ingredients. I'm wearing, let's see, from Zuzu, from Pacifica, from 100% Pure. I'm going to head to 3rd Street now and hopefully I will be able to film. I will see you down there. got so lucky with my parking space. I'm right just a block away from the restaurant, so I'm a little early. Let me show you a little bit of 3rd Street. I'm going to turn the camera around here. Just so pretty down here. Always love seeing the beautiful flowers. I'm meeting her at 12, so I'm doing well on time. Let me show you the restaurant.
So today we have three salts. We have pink Himalayan, which is the purest salt in the world, 99% pure. It's the closest to regular table salt in flavor. The dark red one here is called Alalea Red Clay Salt. It's the highest in vitamins and minerals in the entire world. It has a very clay, earthy taste. Very nice. The dark one is called Hawakai Black Lava Salt. It comes from the Maui beaches. Um, this is the mineralized salt that comes from the actual volcano on the island. And these are the three salts that we have today, but we have over 130 in the restaurant. And what is the... I know you've got the oil, but that's for the bread, I take mm -hmm. it. I recommend you just pour a little oil on your plate, add a little salt of your choice, and then dip the bread so that it sticks to it better. It's really delicious. And you can use the salt in your appetizers, your entrees, even the Hawakai Black Lava Salt is in our raspberry sorbet dessert. We put salt in everything. Um, if you'd like me to let me know about anything else, uh, feel free. We also have two very large wine rooms. Uh, we have an open kitchen. You can go and get your own fresh fish. Today we have Dover Sole, we have Bronzino, we have fresh Florida Snapper, um, and we have Turbo, which is a very nice large farm. You can go and select it yourself, or I can tag it for you. And then I actually fillet the fish at the table here as well. Oh my goodness. So we're all about presentation here at Seesaw. And my name is Skylar, and if there's anything else I can get for you, I'll be back in a minute. Thank you, Skylar. That was great. I hope you were able to hear Skylar, because she was explaining all about the salts and where each one is from, and they use salt in a lot of their dishes, even their desserts, I think she said. So it's fascinating. I do love salt. This one is Himalayan, so this one I have at home. But I, I hadn't heard of the others. This one is from Hawaii. I feel lucky that I got here early enough, early enough before everyone gets into the restaurant so I could show you some video of what it looks like. Now I'm going to get out my salad dressing. Lunch is all finished. I am now heading home. I hope you enjoyed seeing sea salt and a little bit of Third Street. I am standing in the location of a future hotel, so someday I will bring you here when it opens. Coming up next is my outfit. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.